Okay, I'm using the Meet uh, LX90 with the NL, uh, NLVW 30mm Vixen eyepiece. Looking at the global cluster, the third global cluster of the uh, Hercules constellation. We know that, everybody knows M13. You can see it even with the naked eye. M92, sometimes you can see it with naked eye also. But they're beautiful in any telescope size, especially if the Epsonian 10 inch and bigger, or 8 inch in this case also. You can divide the stars of them up to the core by using high magnification. This telescope is showing me now. We nobody knows, or few people know, that there is another um, globular cluster in the Hercules, and that is NGC 6229. It's dimmer, magnitude 9.7 or something around that. And there is a reason for that is because it's far, it's very far compared to the M13, Messier 13 and Messier uh, 92. Uh, I can see it in this view and it is shaped like a V, two stars on top of it and the bottom of the V, the letter V is the NGC 6226 Gregory cluster. I'm going to, I cannot resolve it, it's just a dim object. It's very bright the sky, the light, the street light, the moon also. All the things are against seeing anything deep the sky. I don't give up. This uh, kind of conditions I like to look is challenge for me. I like to take this challenge for observing. So I'm going to use to use the Delos 10 millimeter and this object. So see if I can find this. Before that, I I'd, uh, put the adapter one and a quarter to two inch, but it is a two inch uh, diagonal. Oh, hallelujah! Um, I can see actually the some signs of resolution of the stars of the NGC 6229 globular cluster. I went first for the APM 20 millimeter and then focused 13 millimeter APM. Now I'm in the Delos 10 millimeter and I can see starting to see some individual stars very carefully if I look. It's a very bright sky at the moment. It's not even dark enough but I can see some. I may just go now for yeah, let's push the boat and go for the 5 millimeter Myriad, the sky watching Myriad, 110 degrees. Let's just go mad. Oh no. <laughs> what it does. It just magnified the image of the what I could see with Telus 10. And it doesn't, uh, you know, resolve anymore. So that's the limit of the telescope, the aperture of this telescope. 8 inch, you can see barely some. So individual start to actually to resolve some of the stars of the NGC 6229. But no, that's the limit. <laughs> you need to be bigger than that. The 10 inch or even better 12 inch. So anyway, that was a challenge. I like it. Actually, I saw that. I can see it. Uh, the image is starting to resolve, but nothing better than this, just a little bit bigger. But because it's fuzzy, it just doesn't show anymore. That's the limit. Okay, I've now used the uh, Indian Myriad 9mm. Quite actually good eyepiece. It's probably one of the better eyepieces of the Myriad range. All of them are good. 9 is really good. And uh, the image is, shows a little improvement over the just by 1mm change in the focal length and magnification. It gets a bit darker and the stars are a little bit sharper and contrasted. Uh, but yet the resolu resolution is, is the same. It's a limit 
uh, of this 8 inch telescope. You need a bigger telescope to resolve this uh, compact and far globular cluster. So, yeah, maybe next time with the Dapsonia. Just to be sure that I'm not biased, I used the uh, telescope go to system to go to M92 in Hercules, the other um, mid range magnitude brightness global cluster in that constellation of Hercules. So I'm seeing it individual stars, you can see. Not as good as M13, but I'm going off over M13. But first, I will try with the um, is Myriad 9 just to see how it, what's the difference. Wow, 9 millimeter <laughs> Myriad. Yeah, hundreds of stars in M M99, M M92, Messier 92, global cluster in Hercules. I'm going now to Messier 13 just to see what can I see. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> yes. yeah, I can say this uh, Messi 13, of course I can see probably hundreds and even thousands of stars in it now. Um, not as good as the Dapsonia 12 inch, but it's really impressive. What can I say is that the size wise, uh, NGC uh, M13 is uh, probably uh, the, uh, three times or two times as big as in, in you know, apparent diameter, two times as big as M92, and M92 is almost three times uh, an angular uh, measure bigger than the um, NGC 6229. It appears to my eye, of course, in the sky, not in real, because we know that NGC 6229 is farthest of the three. Anyway, let's go bring the ATS 8mm uh, and see how it is. Oof, 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 oof. It's Teleview 8mm uh, ATS. Uh, not only I see more stars, but the stars that I can see is giving a kind of weak three-dimensional effect um, some of the stars are really as if brighter or closer to you and the uh, others are fuzzier slightly and in the background it gives a three-dimensional effect uh, slightly I, I should not exaggerate um, yeah more more transmission better better transmission even the better than the Delos 10 millimeter can be because of the higher magnification. I can see actually have a better contrast and uh, yeah, resolution in a way. Jet planes in the night sky with you Getting high in the sunrise with you Getting through all the bad times with you I wasn't missing a thing, no I do And I wish that I could do it and now you're gone Oh, if only I could build a time machine I'd come and get you I can't forget you I miss you, I miss you I miss you all the time I wish that, I wish that I wish that 